During the Civil War, the Confederacy developed new battle tactics at sea to combat the more powerful and established Union Navy. A team of engineers built vessels to take the fight beneath the water's surface. Learning and improving upon the design, the experimental Hunley was the last of three attempts made by this group. She was almost abandoned after several men died during testing in 1863. There was one man who still believed in the sub, Captain George Dixon. He helped build the Hunley and had experience with the vessel. Even after the loss of the men in previous test missions, Captain Dixon was able to handpick seven volunteers to help crew the sub. They trained regularly to prepare for their Against All Odds mission. On a moonlit night in 1864, they embarked on their ambitious attack. Target? The USS Housatonic, one of the Union's mightiest ships. The Hunley's approach was stealth. Her spar-mounted torpedo detonated, and the explosion tore through the hull of the Housatonic, causing it to sink within minutes and the loss of five sailors. But after making world history, the submarine and crew disappeared into the darkness of the sea. Their fate became a mystery, and their accomplishments a legend. The Union began searching for the Hunley almost immediately, hoping to find the secret weapon that sank its powerful ship. It took over a century and the use of modern technology to locate the lost submarine. In 1995, a search expedition headed by best-selling author Clive Cussler finally located the Hunley, about four miles off the coast of Charleston, 30 feet below the surface. Raising the Hunley required careful study, research, and planning. On August 8, 2000, she was lifted from the ocean floor completely intact. Now resting in a 75,000-gallon tank, the Hunley is again making history as she undergoes a high-tech excavation and conservation process. The salts that penetrated the Hunley's iron skin while it sat on the ocean floor for more than a century are like poison and could cause it to rust and crumble if not removed. The sub now soaks in a chemical conservation bath that is slowly pulling the salts out. So this historical treasure survives. Conservators carefully removed 1,200 pounds of concretion that coated the entire surface of the vessel. As the Hunley came out of this shell, the results were stunning and exposed the finer features of the world's first successful combat submarine. The Hunley also proved to be a 19th century time capsule, holding historical treasures and the remains of the crew. One of the most famous was a gold coin that saved Captain Dixon's life when a bullet was fired at him during battle in 1862. Discovered among his remains, it is bent by the impact of the bullet and engraved, My Life Preserver. Hundreds of other fascinating artifacts found on board during excavation have been conserved. Why the crew vanished that night remains a mystery. Some speculate the explosion that sank the Housatonic also damaged the Hunley or injured the crew, making it impossible for her to return home. Recent explosion modeling and testing show this is unlikely, since the low-intensity pressure pulse created by the explosion would not have been strong enough to damage the submarine or injure the crew. Another theory is the crew submerged to sit on the ocean floor, waiting for a safe opportunity to return to shore when they ran out of air or got stuck, unable to rise to the surface again. It is also possible that the massive wake of the large Union ships rushing to the scene to help the survivors of the Housatonic could have sent the small submarine tumbling down. Scientists are still discovering clues in hopes of solving this enduring maritime mystery. As conservators work to save the Hunley, visitors from around the world have come to see this remarkable project unfold. Students of all ages have learned firsthand about history, archaeology, and science. The legacy of innovation that started 160 years ago continues to have ripple effects to this day, pushing science and historical exploration to new horizons.